when you stand in the presence of a Kung Fu master, you look at his eyes and he looks at your eyes, he will know what is in your heart. He will know if you are serious. He will know if you are devoted and dedicated to your training. Ethics, that means the quality of your work. Ethics and courtesy and manners is everything. This tells me who you are. This tells me who your parents are. This tells me who your family is. In the old days, many young children like you would go to the Shaolin Temple to see if the monks and the teachers would accept them to live there because their parents had died. Back in olden China, in the olden days, things were different. People died a lot younger in many cases for a lot more reasons than they do now. And many children were left homeless. And their only recourse was to approach the temple and hope, hope that the monks would give them refuge, place to stay. Oh, you want to stay here? You got to work. Get the broom. Go clean outside. Go catch fish or, or, or pick vegetables so everyone can eat. And maybe one day, if you work hard and you stay, you can learn Kung Fu. Maybe. Maybe not. When the students would approach the temple, the monks would come and tell them, please wait. And the monk would leave. And the students would stay outside. The students that left were not accepted. The students that played around and jumped around and played catch were not accepted. Maybe a week waiting, maybe two weeks waiting outside in the rain and the snow and the cold no food, no drink, waiting and waiting and waiting to see if the monk and the temple would give them a new home. In many cases, the monk would come out and he would say, you and 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 you, please leave. You and you and you, please wait a little longer. Then he would come back out in a few days and says, okay, come with me. Now this story is outlined in a beautiful performance from the Kung Fu TV series. You should watch it. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. When they go inside, they sit down with the monk and they put a nice hot cup of tea. Here's one for you, here's one for you, here's one for you, here's one for the master. And then, if the students drank before the master, please leave. Only the best of the best of the best people 
were allowed inside. After 2,000 years, things have not changed very much. Don't ever underestimate the cleverness of your teachers. As I said, they can look in your eye and they know who you are. They can look how you dress and they can say, He's sloppy, he's sloppy, he's sloppy, he's sloppy, he's neat, he's neat, he's clean, he's disciplined, he's disciplined, he's disciplined, he's not disciplined, he plays around all the time, he's not serious, just by looking at your eyes. Know in your heart everything that you do here is a reflection of who you are. It's a reflection of who your parents are. It's a reflection of who your family is. Everything you do out there is the same thing. When you come here, you must display your best behavior. And if you are able to embrace and display your best behavior for a long period of time, a sustained period of time, you will grow and you will learn. And in time, you will achieve all of your goals. But as the word Kung Fu states, it requires hard work. Requires hard work. Next time I come here with you for testing, I expect your uniform to be in order. I expect your sash to be properly tied and in the right place. It doesn't go in the middle. It doesn't go in the middle. It doesn't go in the middle. It goes on the side. You know it. But maybe you're a little sloppy. If you're sloppy here, now, you must make a sustained effort to change that aspect of your character. Sloppy means what? What does it mean? It means one thing. Lower your hands. It means one thing. Either you don't care or you don't know. Now. If it's, you don't know, we can fix that. If it's, you don't care, we can't fix that. Out of our hands. Understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. So from now on, I expect everybody to observe proper protocol, wear your suit properly, wear your sash properly, behave in a proper fashion. And when you are granted something like a promotion, you always say thank you. Understood? Yes, sir. Thank you all together. Joint.